Alright guys, so as many of you guys know, your wheels on your vehicle are like the shoes to your person. You know, they just define you. And as you guys can see on this Aerial Atom, they have these beautiful bronze wheels. They're actually HRE performance wheels. And you can also see that it also has performance brakes. So with the bad boy like this, you can expect some pretty heavy brake dust because this is a street legal track car. The owner of it drives it up and down from PCH all the way to Malibu and all the way back down. And as you guys can see, he has a ton of fun and he also has a ton of brake dust, which we're gonna go ahead and clean up for him because you know it's a beautiful car. We wanna make him ride in style. So right here we have our full setup for everything that we need to clean the wheels and protect them to repel brake dust and ensure that they look their best for a lot longer. So to begin this process, we're gonna start off by rinsing off the wheels with our ProFlow PM2000 electric fresh washer with our Torx Snubby, which is a pressure washer gun attachment, which you can use for a more of a shorter nozzle. That way you have more accessibility, especially when you're working on a vehicle like this, that's very intricate, very small and hard to get into. So we're gonna go ahead and hose it down and we'll be right back. All right guys, one thing I do wanna mention straight off the bat is I know to a lot of you guys at home watching this right now, you guys may be looking at me, I'm like, Joey, there's no brake dust on those wheels. And I can assure you that there most definitely is brake dust on these wheels. It's just very hard to tell because these wheels, they're a very, very bright bronze color, but in this case right now, they're more a little bit dull. And you guys will see when we actually clean them up to their full potential and apply our ceramic coating and all our protectants to them, just how much they shine. But just to kind of give you guys a little comparison, we're just gonna go ahead and I know we always recommend not doing this, which is rubbing your hands on a dirty surface. We're just gonna go ahead and just wipe our finger straight through the middle of the barrel so that way you guys can see just how dirty it is. And you can see that it's very brown, it's very nasty, it's very gunky. So we're just gonna go ahead and clean them up. So now that we're all rinsed off, now we're gonna start off with, personally, I like to start off with the tires. Now you can start off with the wheels. In this case, I wanna start off with the tires just because we have a lot of tire browning and we wanna make sure to restore this. Now, one thing I do wanna mention right now, straight off the bat is we're not gonna be applying any kind of tire shine because this is a track car. So when it comes to track cars and track vehicles, you never wanna apply tire shine because you never wanna apply anything that can possibly leave a, you know, a slippery feel to the tires, which can definitely hurt your performance when you're on the track. So we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna be using our Total Extract, which is a tire and rubber cleaner to safely and effectively clean the tires from any kind of tire blooming, any kind of tire browning back to its original new condition without any kind of shine whatsoever. So it just revives that brand new tire look without any shine. So it's very easy to use. All you have to do is simply spray some directly onto your tire. And then you wanna grab a stiff bristle brush. So in this case, I'll grab my big blue stiffy and I'm also gonna saturate the bristles with some of the total extract on there just for some added cleaning power. And then we're just gonna start scrubbing the tires themselves. And you guys will see that total extract has an incredible foamy feature that does an incredible job at just exfoliating your tires, removing all the dirt, the brown, the grime, and any kind of previous dressing. So this car normally isn't treated with dressings, but if you are using this on your own vehicle and you do love applying dressings to them, this will do an incredible job at just stripping them away. That way, whenever you go to apply a fresh coat, it's not gonna, sorry, it will bond a lot better than if you would if you don't clean your tires beforehand. So that's my pro tip for you guys out there who wanna make your tire shine last the longest. 
make sure to thoroughly scrub your tires with a cleaner like Total Extract to ensure that there's absolutely nothing on there before you apply it for the best results. And as we're done right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put my brush back into my bucket. Now you can rinse this off if you want to right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and do so just since you know the foam's already broken down. So we're just gonna go ahead and rinse it off real quick and then we'll start on the wheel. Then I'm not sure how well it shows on camera right now, but the tire looks beautiful. It looks back to black. And as you guys can see, if I rub my hands on it, you don't have any black gunk or residue coming off. So that's how you know you're all done. But if you do do this and you realize that you still have a, a ton of brown and black gunk coming off onto your hands, go back with your total extract, scrub a little more, and just make sure you get that deep clean. So moving on, we're gonna be starting off with our Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner Gel. Now we're gonna spray this product directly onto the wheel surface. Now, the reason that we call this Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner Gel is that it clings hard to the surfaces of your wheel for maximum cleaning power. So as you guys can see right here, I've sprayed the entire wheel already, and you'll notice that this cleaner does not just roll off like most degreasers do. And that's the beauty about this product is that it gives you more time to work with it, more time to use your favorite chemical guys brushes to break down dirt and grime without it just rolling off and doing nothing. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab, actually there's a couple things that we can do. So I'm gonna grab some sticky citrus wheel cleaner gel. And this is just another pro tip for you guys out there for more suds and more cleaning power. Spray some directly into your bucket. I think I sprayed about five, might've been six. Get your hose and then activate the suds because it is a gel based cleaner, it will foam up. So with just a couple sprays, it foams up very nicely, very thoroughly, and thus you're gonna get a nice deeper and safer wheel cleaning experience. Now we're gonna grab our Red Rocket wheel cleaning brush and we're gonna start off at the top of the wheel, barrel, should I say. And then we're just gonna scrub away all the embedded dirt and grime that's sitting in the barrel of the wheel. And then one pro tip for you guys, and this, is just, this video is just full of pro tips. A pro tip for you guys, as you're cleaning your wheels, come back to your bucket and you guys saw the dirt trap that I put at the bottom of the bucket. You can scrub your brush directly onto the face of that. Or in this case with the Red Rocket, it's a little bit more difficult. So you can just kind of massage the bristles off and knock off any kind of loose dirt and debris that may be lingering on the bristles of your brush. And then just grab some more cleaning suds. That way, whenever you're cleaning your wheels, you have a fresh, fresh bristles to work with. So you don't have any kind of embedded brake dust on the bristles, which can potentially scratch the wheel finish, especially since these are a powder coated finish. So we definitely don't want to scratch them up because powder coated finishes would be treated the same way as almost painted finishes. So if you do get scratches and swirls on those, guess what? You're going to have to polish them out with a compound or polish. And in this case, we're not going to really be able to get in there with the machine just because of its intricate design. So just imagine how difficult it will be. So don't do any kind of scratches or swirls. Try to do your best in terms of wash techniques. That way you have the safest cleaning experience possible. Next, we're gonna grab our wheelie flag tip brush and we're gonna clean the face of the wheels. Now, I know these wheels are very intricate. So with this brush, we're just gonna get whatever we can with it in terms of like the face, just because the face of the bris, sorry, the face of the spokes, they're kind of curved and they have indentations in them. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult for you to get in there, but that's why we have other brushes, which I'll go ahead and pull out in just a second. So we're just gonna do our best to work with this brush and just make sure we get the maximum use out of this brush before we move on to our next one. And would you look at that, we're at our next one. So I'm gonna put my Willy flag tip brush back in there. Then I'm gonna grab a boar's hair detailing brush. And as you guys see, this is a lot more slim, it's more narrow, and the bristles are extremely flexible. And they get even more flexible when you get some nice cleaning suds on there. So I'm just gonna grab some cleaning suds. And now we're gonna get into all the cracks and crevices that our Willy flag tip brush wasn't able to get into, such as the lug nuts, the logo right in the center of the wheel, the valve stem as well down here. Then as you guys can see, you have the logo of the wheel right here, which is actually engraved into the finish of the wheels. So this right here is imprinted, embossed on the surface of the wheel. So we just wanna make sure to get in there very thoroughly. And I also like just kind of going around the entire thing around the lip, just to make sure that we knock off all the dirt and grime and in between the spokes. 
as well as the brake caliper itself. All right, and now that we're done cleaning the wheel, I know, right? It was that quick. We're done cleaning the wheel, we're gonna rinse it off, we're gonna dry it, and then I'm gonna show you guys now the products that you're gonna use to maintain the beautiful lustrous shine that you get once you finish cleaning it and drying it. All right guys, so now that we're done washing the wheels, now it's time to protect the wheels. So as you guys can see, we have two other products that are sitting, you know what? Forget my manners guys. I completely forgot to introduce you guys to all the products that were sitting on this bucket. So very quick, bucket dolly, put your bucket on it, put your lid on it, use it as a sitting stool, roll around all around your ride. Uh, bucket, dirt trap, which we put inside the bucket. This right here is our freeloader, just because it kind of just freeloads and just hangs there and doesn't do anything. But that's the purpose of it. It's not supposed to do anything, but hold your Chemical Guys products so we have everything nice and organized on there. It has little holsters for brushes, and it also has drainage holes, so if you get some water in there, check that out. We done here? <laughs> All right, guys, so moving on. Now we're gonna go ahead and continue with coating the wheels. So now I'm just gonna dry my hand. You know, don't have towels on my hand or anything. And then we're gonna grab our Hydro Spin, which is a wheel and rim ceramic coating and quick detailer. So it's two different products in one. And I, I know you guys may be asking, how does that work? Well, this product can be used both to ceramic coat your wheel and to maintain the ceramic coating of the exact same product that you're putting on your wheel. It's extremely easy to use. In this case right here, we just cleaned the wheels. They're dry, they're clean. Now we can coat them. So this would be the first time that we're coating these. So we're gonna grab Hydro Spin and we're gonna spray about three to four sprays onto a soft microfiber applicator. We're gonna set down our bottle. And then we're gonna start coating the wheels. So whenever it comes to coating the wheels, always, always, always remember, whenever it comes to applying a ceramic coating, do it as even as possible. So what I mean by that is, try to do every single spoke at least once or twice and make sure you do a crosshatch motion. I know in this case, it's gonna be a little bit different just because it's not really gonna, we're not really gonna be able to crosshatch go up and down, left and right. So we're just gonna do our best to kind of remember where we've coated already. I usually like to start on the top, work my way down one side and then come back to the top, work my way down the other side. So we're gonna start off right here on the top and we're gonna coat this side of the spoke with Hydro Spin. And the beauty about Hydro Spin is that it's one of the easiest ceramic coatings that we have to offer. As you guys can see, I'm already basically done with half of the wheel so far. Now I will most likely come back, right back at you. I will most likely come back and just recoat the surface just to ensure that I have a nice even finish all the way around. So as you guys saw, like I told you earlier, go from the top, work your way down, go back to the top, work your way the other way, and just make sure you apply a nice even coat. Now, I know on this color, it's a little bit difficult to kind of see where you've coated. That's why it's extremely important that you know exactly where you're going and where you've been, just because you might get lost in the shine, how Henry says. So to avoid any kind of I guess areas that you may have missed, always come back and just recoat it. I mean, your applicator is already coated. All you have to do now is just come back around and just make sure that you have, uh, you know, absolutely covered every single area. And it doesn't really take that much time because this product is extremely easy to use and it applies very nicely. And we're all done. So now that we're all done, Normally you wanna let this sit for anywhere from about 30 seconds up to two minutes, depending on the climate. Right now it's a little bit, even though it's kind of uh, cloudy, it's more of on the warmer side. So we're gonna give this about 30 seconds or so. And then in those 30 seconds, we can go ahead and grab our mic fiber towel and buff off the residue. So look at that, it's been about 30 seconds. So now I'm gonna grab my mic fiber towel and simply wipe it off. Now, right away, as you're wiping it off, you're gonna tell that your microfiber towel just glides right over the wheels. Now, it makes it extremely slick. And now that you're all done wiping off the Hydro Spin ceramic coating from your wheel, 
Now you can move on to doing the rest of the wheels. But before we do that, I actually want to go back and coat the barrel of the wheel. So off camera, we might just cut to a little montage real quick. I'm going to coat the barrel of the wheel. I'm going to clean the rest of the wheels. And then I'm going to be back with you guys on this wheel because I'm going to show you guys how to layer your protectants using our Maxco wheel guard, which is a synthetic wax specifically for wheels. That way we can layer it on the wheel for more shine, more protection, and make our wheels look a lot better for a lot longer. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll cut right back with you guys once we're done. So now that we've cleaned the rest of the wheels and we've allowed the coat of Hydro Spin to cure, now we're going to go ahead and apply some Max Coat Wheel Guard. Now I know you guys may be asking, why are you applying two different protectants? Isn't that overkill? Do you need to? You know, like there's so many questions you might have right now, but my overall, I guess, statement for you guys would be the more, the merrier. Now, when it comes to protection, you can never have too much protection. In this case, I love laying on my protection. You guys may have seen a video not too long ago where we did a video on glass. We showed you guys, we have a product called Hydroview Ceramic Glass Coating and Glass Cleaner but we also layered it with some Hydro Slick Ceramic Coating Hyper Wax. So in this case right here, this would be almost kind of like the same thought process where we apply a ceramic coating as our base layer of protection. As you guys know, ceramic coatings, they're more durable than they are against waxes and sealants. So that's why whenever it comes to the detailing flow chart, we always recommend applying ceramic coatings first after you fix and correct the paint or you know prep your wheels. Ceramic coat first and then apply all the other layers like sealants, waxes, or even glazes. In this case, we're going to be layering it with our Max Coat Wheel Guard, which is a synthetic wheel coating wax that's designed to repel brake dust by up to 75%. So this is going to help repel a lot of that brake dust from clinging onto your wheels along with dirt, grime, and brake dust on a multitude of wheel finishes like paint, chrome, powder coated, aluminum, you name it. It works on all smooth, glossy wheel finishes and it's very easy to use. I should probably show you guys how to use it by now. So we have a microfiber applicator. We have our Macto wheel guard. As you guys can see, this is more of a creamy paste. So what you want to do is you want to grab some of it with the corner of your applicator. Now it's okay if you grab a lot of it. I would actually prefer kind of getting a little bit more than you normally would just because then you can spread it out more thoroughly. And what I mean by that is, as you guys can see, I have a big glob of it right here in the corner. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put some here, dab some over here, over here, over here, over here, over there, over here. And then you wanna come back and just start spreading it out very thinly and very evenly. And with that amount, that's gonna be more than enough for me to coat the face of the wheel and the barrel of the wheel as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off by coating the entire wheel right here with the spokes. You can get the center logo as well. This also works on the brake calipers, but these are matte finish brake calipers, so we don't want to apply it on there because we don't want to apply any kind of shine to it because this product, it is a synthetic coating wax, so it does contain gloss enhancers. So I would not recommend applying this product on matte finish wheels. It's intended for gloss finishes only. And I know I kind of jumped the gun here and I kind of started applying it at the bottom first, but that's completely fine because the wheels are clean and there's really nothing on here that could potentially, you know, scratch the surface of the wheels because this product is non-abrasive. So we're just going to apply it very nicely, very evenly. And as you guys can see, we don't have any more of those heavy globs besides this one right here, which I'm just going to go ahead and work in. And that's the idea behind this product is that you want to apply a nice, I would say on this product, you can do a medium to, sorry, a light to medium layer. That way you have a better coverage. And with this product, you can actually see where you're coating because it has more of a kind of like a wax haze. So you'll be able to tell where it's more like not as shiny versus like very shiny. And those areas that are still very shiny, just go back, recoat it, and then just have the best coverage possible. And then I'm also gonna get the barrel of the wheel as well. So you guys may have seen me earlier. The beauty about this car or this cart, or I honestly don't even know what you would call it, is that you have easy access to the barrel of your wheels, making it extremely easy for me to coat the entire barrel as well. So not only are we protecting the face of the wheel, but we're also protecting the barrel of it as well. That way we have less contaminants that build upon the barrel, thus leaving our wheel cleaner for much longer. And that's, you know, basically the moral of this entire video is that we wanna demonstrate for you guys 
what products you can apply to your wheels to ensure that they look their best for longer in terms of shine and just the durability of the wheels. Because as you guys know, when it comes to brake dust, brake dust can be extremely corrosive. And if you don't clean your wheels often, that brake dust can often start to etch into the finish of your wheels. And these are HRE performance wheels. I can't tell you exactly how much they cost, but I know they're not cheap. So one thing about these wheels is that you wanna protect your investment. So you wanna make sure that you're applying a durable protection to it and you maintain the beautiful, lustrous finish of your wheels. So that's basically it as far as Max Coat Wheel Guard. That's this guy right here. So right now what we wanna do is we wanna allow that coating to cure for anywhere from about 10 minutes. So, I mean, I'm not in any rush. I actually have the other three wheels to ceramic coat with Hydro Spin and coat with some Max Coat. So we're just gonna let that sit, do its thing, just bond and adhere to the surface. And then we're just gonna come back, wipe it off with or mic fiber towel wherever I left it, but we're gonna wipe it off with the mic fiber towel and that's basically it. So once this is all done, we just grab a mic fiber towel, just give it a quick little wipe it off and we're good to go. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the rest of the wheels, ceramic coat them, max coat them, and then we're gonna show you guys the final results. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a huge like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and if you guys have any other ideas that you guys would like to see us do any videos on this aerial atom, leave them in the comment section down below and I'd be more than happy to get those videos for you guys. As always, if you guys wanna pick up any of the products that you guys seen on today's video, check out the description, check out the comments. We've pinned a comment with all the links in the description, you'll see all the links as well, and you may occasionally see the links to these products throughout this video in the cards, either here, 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 or here. I'm not exactly where, but you'll see them somewhere there. And if you prefer to pick up these products in person, you can visit one of our Detail Garage stores, which we have all throughout the US, the UK, and Canada. So make sure to tap the description to check out that store locator to find your nearest Detail Garage to you. As always, my name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. We'll see you guys next time.